Welcome back from the ads, everybody. Thank you so much for sticking around. Um, we're going to dive into Ori. Give me just a minute here to get this category changed over and the volume flipped and everything. Um, you missed Lawful? I am sure that we will see Lawful again very soon. Just lots going on over there. Um, your country fans since the fourth grade. Okay, so my second concert ever was Garth Brooks. Um, I grew up, I grew up country, um, <laughs> like really country. Also, since you all said pajama party, I'm all about it. So I, I went and grabbed some cute jammies, um, so we can all just be nice and cozy here tonight. Um. And uh, I, I've said it before, I listen to everything. The playlist we're actually listening to right now is my top songs of 2021. Um, so there's just a variety here. Um, but yeah, there, there's a lot. Uh, I listen to a lot of singer-songwriters, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the, there's... Lots of different tunes. Um, you'll also hear a lot of like local Seattle acts or smaller up and coming um, performers as well. So yeah, Pajama Party is official now. And we'll change the title. It's no longer Safety and Spikes. It's now Pajamas and Spikes. <laughs> You're in your pajamas, too. Oh, Sammy, for those that know. <laughs> um, Garth was actually fantastic. Uh, this was back in. Oh, my God, I'm going to be dating myself so bad. Uh. I want to say it was in 1996 or 1997. No, it had to be 96. I wasn't driving on my own yet. So way, way back. Um, but Garth puts on a really good show. Um, the If you ever heard the album Double Live, that was filmed or filmed. That was recorded at concerts that same year. And I saw him at, I don't remember if it was Key Arena then or if it was somewhere else, but it was really cool because he ended up climbing up the scaffolding on the side of the, on the side of the stage and played his guitar while up in the rafters, which was really cool. Um, I think it was at. I'm like timing. It might have been the kingdom before it got blown up. Um, but they had lightning like shoot across the ceiling when they did the thunder rolls, which was amazing. Uh, so that was really cool. And then he had a, a drum cage. So uh, when they do big stages, they'll do uh, like fiberglass or fiberglass plexiglass walls around the drummer sometimes because the drums just have so much sound output that they need to isolate it away from the other speakers and everything else that's going on. So uh, they don't do it a lot of shows, like rock shows they don't, but this one they did. And it was an angled piece of glass. Like it was, um, it was almost like a spaceship of these glass panels. And it was lifted up to like a 45 degree angle. And Garth ran over again while playing his freaking guitar. I'm sure at some point he stopped and the backup players were playing. But he ran up, jumped onto that glass panel, and did a backflip off of it. <laughs> and I was just like, your country, what are you doing? But, oh, it was such a good freaking show. Um, and, of course, I had all of those songs memorized. Um, I had three Garth cassettes in my old you know, 1970s car. Um, <laughs> so 
sang along to a lot of Garth songs. My first concert, though, was Three Dog Night. And I recently um, got a live in concert DVD of Three Dog Night. Because, you know, I may need it in the future. All right, let's turn down the music, even though it is good. And this is actually Tyrone Wells, who uh, has performed shows with us at Seattle Secret Shows a few times. Um, so a lot of my older uh, bands and pop plays are bands that I've worked with at different different venues and stuff over the time. Yes, Emmy was playing some Outer Wilds tonight. Had me very distracted for the first, like, hour of stream tonight. I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. Even though I do really like the sound. Okay. We've got some missions here. We were working on... Oh, to... Talk lost his compass somewhere in the wellspring. Amoki gave us a pouch of herbs. We've been, like, passing things around. We got a bag. We took it to talk. He gave us something. We took it to the Moki who handed Moki who handed us uh, the pouch of herbs. So I'm bouncing all over. Sammy continues her winning streak of successfully painting the roses. <clears throat> I, I could show you the code, but I promise you I did not put it in an if Sammy successfully paint the roses. Um, the town you grew up in, there's a big park that gets lit up and has musical acts playing it throughout the summer nights. There was a band that did Scottish traditional music, and you would go see them every year, had their cassette tape too. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, you've never heard of Ori? Oh, Eve. Uh, it is a freaking gorgeous game. Um, Ori is a spirit and is basically a spirit of the forest um, who goes around and you have all of these different abilities. Like, we can use this leaf to, or leaf, this feather to float up here. We need to go a little higher. Nope. Let's do that again. There we go. And we can talk to the Moki, and it's adorable. But it will also break your damn heart. Um, this one is Ori and the Will of the Wisps. It's the sequel. Uh, Ori and the Blind Forest is the first one. Um, it is a good after Hollow Knight follow-up. Yes, if you are enjoying the Metroidvania vibes and the platforming of Hollow Knight, this is a great one. Um, the skills kind of work more like the charms. Um, so, let's see. Yeah, here. Um, so this one has spirit shards. They have different abilities you can get, like sticky to climb on walls and stuff like that. Um, and then you also have your core abilities here. Um, but they're, this is so different from the first one, but like I can shoot a bow and arrow. I have a spirit smash, but they're all, all spirit ones. And yeah, um, the Ori games are fantastic. Yes, exactly. Um, they they have a lot more story. Um, well, no, I'm going to stick with that. Um, Hollow Knight's lore is lore tablets, and you kind of have to figure it out. Ori tells you the story. Um, and yes, both games are on Xbox Game Pass, so if you have an Xbox, they are available to play at no charge, which is, well, no additional charge, I should say. Hey, there's a... I have 2,400 spirit. Wow. Okay, but where am I going? This is the important part that I looked in here to find out, because this is all family reunion. Oh, I have to go tell the Moki about his family. Remember what I said about heartbreak? Damn it. This poor Moki, his family... He left them behind to come out here and get a house. And we went to that area 
and he was given this nice lovely hut and he was like I'm ready for my family to come and his family were turned to stone and we have to deliver the news this is a hell of a way to start spirit have you found my family in the silent woods that is my pup's doll but it is stone no I, I must go home you have a lovely home right here maybe we can find a way to to save them I don't know I hope so oh it's so so good um let me get out of here to where you can just see a bit of the fighting and then I won't won't do the story right away Jen, no worries. I know that it's late. You finished a long stream. Please get some good, good rest. The abilities like bash that's a really cool one um bash and dash are separate so bash oops if you choose not to get hit um lets you launch off of creatures and projectiles and stuff like that um but there's just so many different platforming little components yeah it's very fluid um, the controls are are wonderful and because you can do the double jump and grab onto things like this so you don't land in the spikes. Um, there's just lots and lots that you can do. I think we need to go over this way. This is where we were before, though. Oh, there's rumors over here. Breaking the mold, a wisp lies trapped. Oh! Okay. I'm trying to remember what we did last time and a wisp sank in the wilderness. Yes. Okay. So we got the waters flowing from the wellspring and we talked to the guardian here and then he informed us that their tree had died <clears throat> and the wisps had spread and we need to go find them all and I think that we need to go here and drop down so that's what we're going to try to do but there's lots of rumors and lots and lots of things that we can find out there Um, you need to go to sleep as well you're exhausted woke up at 7am to do your homework and didn't get time to go back to sleep well go get some good sleep now Shri Get some great sleep. Thanks so much for hanging out, being here tonight. I'm still stoked for you that you don't have to um, do extra assignments. Whoa. Is it? Oh no. It's a ways away from here.
I already got that and I did not need to come up here. <laughs> Sit still. <laughs> You have other assignments to do. Yeah, but at least not that one. I don't think I'm gonna go that way. Oh, hey, wait a minute. anything up there? Oh, that's right. I remember looking at this before and thinking there I couldn't do it. And that went too fast. have to get creative with the like platforming puzzling sometimes but ow right into the spikes Before I want, think I want need to go to the, yeah, the right and then down. Stay up there, that's great. Oh, this is different. When darkness came, Moki went to check or came to check Moldwood depths. The gate was closed. Now Qualic has sent us to open it for you because a light was lost inside. A light like yours. A little light. Lonely light. It's dark, but maybe you can find it if you shine bright enough. Bites. And the, the terrain, like, it spikes, but it's like flies with spikes on their backs fluttering their wings that's insane It's the second in the series, so it 
they kind of can stand alone in that they're individual stories, but this one is the sequel. Um, in the first one, you battle against nature and all of these different like gates and things like this, um, ultimately to restore the light and defeat this bird that is bringing darkness to the land. So kind of you're bringing the light, it needs to bring the darkness, and you're at odds with each other. And then in this one, you've brought all of the light back to the land, and your friend is lost, and you're trying to help them. Um, and you end up in a completely different part of the woods where the spirits have been gone for a very long time, and the light has been snuffed out already and dispersed. And so you're trying to find the wisps to restore the light um, again to their their woods and kind of help help them get by. Assume I have to pick this up still? Yeah. that one because I didn't think I had a way through it. Jeez. Ooh. Too little too late. Oh good, it at least started me down there instead of at the top again. phobia much oh that is a creepy looking spider creature <clears throat> oh this is the wisp talking to us this is where the eyes of the forest sink into a sightless night these woods were always dark but the decay made their darkness deeper and more dangerous Yes, spooters indeed. And not like weaver friends like in Hollow Knight. Okay, okay, I changed my mind. These all hit really hard. Oh. Thing. Good to know, cannot survive in the darkness. Okay, we need two keystones. There was one there. And then it looks like when we get that one, it's going to open up a second one. Oh, you're coming back? And your friend is too. Okay. On to Ori. Welcome back, Kale. Oh, 
right, spikes, classic. Luckily, this game has a built-in death counter for us. Um, you know, it would have been good if I'd known what was going on the first time. Because now I'm trying to get back up here. And those don't stay very long, so I have to be pretty quick about this. I'm dashing in the wrong direction, which is not helping me. That's fine. Okay. So we need to free this little bug and then follow it so we can stay in the light. Second one out here before it goes away. Okay, it just let us back out. That's cool. like some sort of bug. Okay, there's light here. That darkness is coming after us. Can we get a... That's another... Oh my gosh. All the insects here are so big. Oh no, I just got trapped in the spikes. Yeah. Can I not take you with me? That's enemies on fire. I wonder if my sentry orb might have light. Oh, actually. Yeah, the darkness immediately comes after me. Okay. That has a light source. Okay. No, don't hang out on it. Get to the next light. The enemies are light sources? Well, that's a twist.
you're gonna guide me back out of here. Love that. That's nice, at least. Oh, not if you don't follow your bug. Gonna have a separate tracker for dying to the darkness. And we're through. This hits so hard. damage too. Oh, that's back into the darkness. Never mind. Never mind. I didn't want to go that way. Since they hit hard, don't fight them. Use their own weapons against them. that to go. Nope. 
Maybe I got too cozy. Is that possible? Oh, definitely the spikes. <laughs> um, with this one, the different abilities and that you can equip and remove abilities based on what you need. Um, this part's obnoxious. Uh, the other thing... Do I tell you? There are scenes where you have to platform well and fast. So where in Hollow Knight, you fight bosses directly using your strength against theirs. In Ori, a lot of the boss fights, you have to use the environment instead. And I really, really like the way that they do that. This is really messing with me. What also is messing with me is the bash button and that like whip effect are the same button. So I, I don't want this here because now it's in my way. And then it's not in my way when I need it to be like. do I have? I have gusts of wind, set on fire, use the sentry, which I don't want here, spirit smash, and the arc to shoot arrows, but that's not what I want here either. I just want to turn off that whip. Can I do that? Magnet sticky. Splinter Shots, Life Harvest. Oh, interesting. There's two more paths over here, but I couldn't take them because I don't have a light source. Oh, I just switched up all of my skills around. That wasn't good. This looks like a terrible idea. Oh, here we go. No, that did not open.
Okay, so I didn't need to come up here at all. Well, at least the return trip wasn't as bad. So yeah, we're going to try to get across this. I don't think those are given enough light to fight off the shadow. Dash like crazy through it, okay. Darkness is mean. Ori, what do we do? I don't think this one does anything. might have just worked to help hold off the darkness. I don't think so. Okay. Made it through. Stop that. Don't really need money, but this is fine.
okay. That one will bounce me out of here. This is seriously tricky. I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna get a, a get an ability at some point that allows me to uh, have more light. I'm starting to think maybe this is not where I'm supposed to be. We got a teleporter. That is way up there. later. Oh, that... It's right there. Because of course it is. Free it so the land might see clearly once more. Okay. The eyes of the forest. So the idea is if we get that, then maybe the darkness will fade. Great. you like to lead me? Oh, 
Avi, hey, how are you doing? Been lurking? Thank you. Yeah, this is, uh... This is a nightmare. But they did a good job, because it feels realistic. No need to be sorry about that. <laughs> we are pro pun here. I did play the first Ori. Yeah, it's been a couple of years, so this has uh, been an interesting revisit. How could you do that to me, Bug? heading to bed finally good night Eve. thanks so much for hanging out so long get some good good rest Whoops. oh and we've got ads what timing the adventure time emotes right What did the U.S. Navy do to San Clemente Island? I don't know. The U.S. Navy, it's like drowned it, doubled its size, built a giant fortress on it, and blocked everybody else from ever being there. Oh, wait. This is Navy. Like, the Army Corps of Engineers took a bunch of waterways and diverted them in order to make more land in the state of Florida and wiped out a whole bunch of the Everglades as a result. And then after looking at the damage of what they did, had to go back and remove everything that they'd done, restore the Everglades, and basically restore swamplands which is just kind of a regular thing. We're just waiting out the ads here. Also, thanks to our late night sleepy friends, we're kind of having a pajama party, so we've got we've got cute jammies on. Um, so everybody's just having a little cozy time as we're fighting our way through the darkness here. I think that'll break the 
the bug free at the same time. So we'll wait for the ads before we do that, just in case. There is a path to the right, so at some point we're going to be able to get through these spider webs or down here. There's also... There's also that life cell part up above us. It's like right there, too. If it loads me back to here, I suppose we can get it. We need to get to wherever that door was. Oh, there's money behind us, too. But we can't even get there, so that's fine. There we go. The ads are over. Between 1972 and 1989, the U.S. Navy efforts, U.S. Navy's efforts, led to the eradication of 28,000 feral goats to protect endemic species. To protect species, they eradicated goats. Sometimes you have to wonder if they were actually helping when they did that. Probably spans plant species that relied or species that relied on plants. That would make sense. Yeah, goats will devour everything. Whoops. I want to get that life cell, so... <laughs> There's a lot of goats. Okay, can't go too far ahead of the bug. These two bugs are just sending me back and forth to each other. Oh my gosh. These bugs are so creepy. Or trolls confirmed. Yeah.
why did you wait to shoot at me for that long? Pain. Okay, that's a good reason. <laughs> hitting the wrong button a lot. I didn't think I'd gotten that far into the shadow. Whoops. It's like watching you pogo. Oh no. <laughs> Made it to another light. And you've played this, right? on the other side of this, which has been the story of this. At least we got there. Why should that be all that this was for? Oh, ow. It's a very good thing that this game keeps a death counter. I go back into the darkness. What 
is this? This is not quite a teleporter. Oh, it's a spirit trial. down here that's separate. Oh, the start was back there. Hmm. Oh, that went poorly. higher there. gonna happen that way oh wait a second now I don't have my bug Spikes are so evil. <laughs> Spirit Surge. Deal more damage the more spirit light you have. Okay, so... Lem's Strength for Ori. Do we still have it? No. Oh, 
helps if we have light. Oh, I couldn't grab onto that wall. I thought that I could, but I was mistaken. Corey, what was that bell? <laughs> I'm gonna figure this out. I'm not sure that I'm getting better or worse here. <laughs> I guess I could teleport out of here, but I probably want to go to not too far. Oh yeah, I don't want to go all the way back up here.
how do I get back? Because I'm not getting enough height to get over the spikes. So I have to get onto the second one on the right hand side of it? That just feels wrong and cruel. though is really good especially since we have a whole bunch of spirit light right now can and I was considering it it's a lot of backtracking because it's way up here and I was trying to decide if I wanted to go this way maybe I should check and see if I want to go these other ways or if I even can because that may change the decision right there Reaps or is it just me? Am I gone? Well, on the one hand, the darkness that came with the decay sure is eerie. I mean, I mean, on the other awesome. hand, I think I prefer the dark to whatever it's hiding. Sure to purchase a map while you're here for 250 spirit light? I would love I to. Oh, I much obliged. Okay, well that shows us that we're way off track and we haven't managed to find any of these things, the collectibles. There's another one way back here. <laughs> Thank you, Cornifer, right? Hello, Lady Cat, just popping in. Uh, I just dropped in to say hello and tell you about doing something really damn stupid and you won't do it again. Uh-oh. Your last day off before this past Friday was two Fridays ago. And at the end of this pay period, you will have worked 150.5 hours, which ended at 12 a.m. Central Time. And that included 13 days straight, Saturday, May 18th, Thursday, May 20th, with two of those days, Saturday, the 18th and 19th, being in the last pay period. Part of those 150.5 will include yesterday and today. Well, I mean, sometimes you got to do it. Um, I get it, though. It's no fun, especially giving up the days off. Uh, I went for a very long time working 80 hour weeks, um, but I still got a day off or at least a few hours off here and there. Um, but I do not enjoy it. Okay. 
Oh, we haven't activated those stations, so we can't teleport to them? Oh, no, just because of the the view we're in of the map here, because of just getting the map from it. Probably gonna get your ass chewed out, chewed too, because your company doesn't want you working seven straight days without a day off. You know, if you have to do it, you have to do it. If it's getting stuff done for the company, then like they should they should relax a little on that. Okay, I can teleport up here where there's rumors. Oh, that's right. The tree keeper gave Ori a branch of a dying tree in hopes that someone might know a cure. And... Into the darkness. Where was the bear? The bear's here. I think we need to go try to wake the bear. And this is closer to where we actually need to be, which is here. Well, now that we have a map, let's go back and get this. And then it's just a collectible. So this isn't required stuff. This is all extras. So yeah, we can totally teleport out. Um, you just drop by, say hello. You're about to go to bed. No worries. I know you usually stop by on your way to bed. Hope you get a good night's sleep. I'm gonna die in the darkness again. goes to the left. That does not hold back the darkness. Okay. That worked well. All right, we can't get through here. We need to come at it from the other side, which means we can either go through down here where we were before Although this, the bugs didn't lead us where we need to go. So maybe if we follow this bug down and then go to the right, maybe we can go across here.
not kind. Too far down. Nope, not the way I want to go. That was about how I figured that would go. Followed by the darkness. Uh, we have anonymous follows, so feel free to lurk. We appreciate you being here either way. sleeps oh no worries at all it, it's so hard to follow everybody much appreciated though hope you get some good rest tonight okay twice i have totally missed this pathway why am i having such a hard time finding it Up through this part and then to the right up here somewhere. Pure darkness. <laughs> okay, so that is not the way. Or at least not through this little piece. We've been through there. Oh, that means there's a bug up above that was our guide. This one leads us back as well. Try to make it farther, see if there's anything over here we can see. Nope.
missiles. Oh, it's just to get back down here. It's just another pathway. So the only path through here. Yeah, maybe come back that way from down here. And I can't seem to go to the right here because the darkness gets me before I can get to light. And I haven't been able to get to this one. This has me so stumped. Can they all be return trips? feels like maybe I'm supposed to smash through those bugs back there, but that doesn't actually go anywhere. Whoops. I mean, I deserve that. Last time I was so confident I was gonna be able to just jump and get in the air. <laughs> Everything seems bad here. <laughs> I don't like any of this. So what I have learned is I don't have a path from here to the right. Although I can walk it, I just don't have any light sources. This is a return trip. This is a return trip here, coming up. And this looks like it's a return trip as well. Which leads me to this being the only way. What does struggling to progress in Metroidvanias mean? It means go try somewhere else. You don't have the key yet. Maybe.
I made it further. <laughs> No, I can't even bash them. That's progress, that's right. It was like three millimeters you got there. I think we go check out these rumors. This is what I think. They probably have nothing to do with what we're doing. But that's also part of the perk, that they have nothing to do with what we're doing. Hammer, you're really struggling today. Oh, wait a second. Might as well save and get a little life refill there. Okay. From here, we're going to go up and then to the right. Oh, this is where we based off against the bird. That's why we didn't go this way. Oh, that looks pleasant. The feeding grounds, uh-huh. Uh oh, we've got nervous Ori with no attack. Sad Ori. Okay, Ori just. Let me sneaky. Nope. Jump. Oh, I thought I was going to perch on this thing or lift it. It is. Seriously? Stay looking that way. Yeah, it was never here. What? Okay. Okay, this is more like what I remember from the first one. Where am I going?
Okay, where to next? over there. Okay. Oh. Can't sneak. Hide behind the canvas, you think. I know. The vent came up. I was like, no! It's like, no. I took too long. Oh, here? No. Well, maybe if I can get there fast enough. Yep. Just has to be speedy. Spots were disappeared. <laughs> it's good to know that there's a hunted sound. And it sure is nice of the thing to look away and be like, okay, I'll ignore you. You can go to the next spot. Safe. This, this looks fine. Well, we're learning one step at a time. sure was nice of them to give us this right here. I thought we were about to have a full-on chase scene there. How far are we from the rumors? There's one down below? Interesting. What is this? We couldn't get there. There was a wall of sand right here, but that is intriguing. <laughs> I just zapped up there and then saw the teeth and I was like, oh no. <laughs> so we can remove the sand. Rumor investigated ancestral home. Oh? Oh, Mark, is she oh. there, Ori? Oh, oh, we can oh, see the ghosts in the here. sand here, Ori. This was the home of the Gorlek before the decay drove them under underground. I am This is what all new and will become if we cannot bring back the light. Oh? 
I'm guessing there's lots of gore like ore down here. So we're not going to be removing the sand. We're going to be traveling through it like those are. Like, there's a dash or dive thing that sends you through. Well, oh, for the, the sand. Yes. You have big club. It's a very big spiky club. Are you sure about that? my second jump because I'm not doing it immediately. There we go. Ooh. Well, that's an interesting little, little thing.
Oh no, we're in the air. That's okay, we got bitten. We'll get bit again. We're good. Ad break. Let's make this the last one of the night. I'm gonna stand up, run across the room, you know, do that fun stuff. We'll stand up right here for a moment. Let the uh, camera adjust. There we go. Let's observe chat in its natural habitat. In the wilds of Ori and the Will of the Wisps, a curious Samsara Dusty ponders the essence of struggle and progress. In this vast Netroidvania landscape, it didn't even try to correct that. A moment of nostalgia sweeps through as they recall the art of hiding behind canvases. Alas, too soon they speak of dashed hopes and dives into the unknown with an oof echoing like a defeated spirit in the forest. Hashtag pajamas and spikes. We approve. <laughs> Definitely all the jammies and spikes. I wonder what I have for snacks. I will be right back. I've got two minutes. I'm going to see what I can snack on. We're going to see the BRB scene and we'll be back in just a minute. Welcome back from the ads. I found leftover freezer, freezer pizza. Okay. Oh, we are just exploring everywhere up here. Although there's some goodies back here that we missed, of course. He went out and got pizza. Nice. Looks like it's going to be interesting. Oh, goody. It's you guys again. Okay, there's enough of you. Are you a 
friend. You're sharpening a nail. You are a friend. <clears throat> oh, traveler. A word. No, don't worry. I escaped the corruption that befell many of my kin. But there is one problem. You don't happen to have any water, do you? I fear my canteen broke in a fall. Not that I'm thirsty. We Gorlick are tough. I could survive in this desert for days. But a drink of fresh water now and then is good for the spirit. And my spirit is parched. Don't mind if I do, Mr. Gorlack Miner. All right, bring you water. Got it. That they did so much moving to run, like ah. Wait, what abilities do you have? So core abilities, I currently have the Spirit Edge, Spirit Arc, Spirit Smash, Regenerate, Flap, Blaze, and Sentry. And then I never equipped it, but in my Spirit Shards. I have Magnet, Sticky, Resilience, Wing Clip, Splinter, and Life Harvest. Um, because we just got Spirit Surge, which caps at 3,000 Spirit Light. Next level caps at 6,000, and conveniently, we are just about 3,000. So that'll make us stronger in attacks. Oh. Let's find out what abilities we have. We now have Burrow. There's RB to move through the sand and again to Burrow Dash. Okay. Oh my. Another spirit race thing. Spirit trial. I like that I keep finding the ends of the trials before the beginnings. Or maybe that's how it's supposed to happen. I don't know. But like that beginning is down here. That's going to be a long journey. Oh, there's a shortcut right here. There's also some spirit light down there. You gotta go and do dinner things? Sounds good, thud. happens a lot. Yeah, I kind of figured it out. Uh, that's cool. Can I double for you? Hey, Lupo! Ah, hello there, 
wary wanderer. I'm not sure whether spirits need water, but if you do, I'm sorry to say you'll have to look elsewhere. Some may think there's not much to chart in such a barren place, but sand shift all the time. I could make map after map. Speaking of maps, care to purchase one of these windsept wastes for 300 spirit light? Ah, oh, much obliged. Okay. And we have explored pretty much none of that. Is there a... Beneath the shifting sands, way up here is... Find the heart of the forest. And there's another rumor down here. According to Malte, there's an ancient shrine hidden in the silent woods. The silent shrine. Okay, that's going to be one of the battle shrines. <clears throat> that's what I think anyways. I also like that we missed this spot of darkness right here. And apparently we can go higher up here. There's also a little secret path right there. You're not hiding anything else up here, are you? gem you found a new quest item it pulsates it pulsates with an ominous glow a diamond in the rough take the eerie gem to a specialist a gem specialist hmm trials offline okay we're gonna dash through there dash into here up there that's gonna be a little tricky cross all of this through the sand again and up to that one okay Wow, that was the wrong path.
Time's up. <laughs> Go back to the beginning. There we go, finished. Why did you bring back all of the... Oh. You are a... Explosive thing, okay. Another spot down here. Why, well, thank you. I know I could have been speedier, but uh, I felt all right with it. Oh, this is terrible. This is not how you get out of there. <laughs> Worry, we did so well on the way in. <laughs> I thought I was doing okay. Oh, I'm like super badly. Okay. like something. Got them all. See where I'm trying to get down there, but it really helps if I'm not dashing up into the spikes.
Okay. Okay, we haven't done this room at all. Oh, you have magic. And friends. Friends that I don't like. You two talk to each other. out of here? No? Okay. Down the spikes. Okay. That was the last of my healing. And I haven't done this part down here yet. Another life cell fragment. Okay. I mean, I'm feeling good about all of this. Diamond in the rough, it looks like uh, perhaps we're gonna meet the gem person just up ahead. Spikes. Nope, that was down. Oh, we couldn't go through here before. We needed that. Maximum energy increased and energy filled for us. Love that. Oops. Expect you. Oh, Mira. Oh. oh, what's that? A gem? Oh, looks a bit rough around the edges, huh? Good if I were you, I'd show it to an expert and make sure it's safe. A squark? Uh huh. You had me come out here to say that? game saved in a nice little shiny spot.
I don't know why I did that. About 20 minutes until ads. Thank you. Keystone below us, one up above us. We missed a room. I was doing so good. this way? Not even close. look like a spot I can come back to? No. to use the glide and instead hit the dash, which is not what I want. It's getting back to it after I launch it that's tough here.
Okay, we'll worry about this later. Wait, I didn't get the second one? You think you can make it without double launching off of one? Okay. I have two. I missed it last time. Oh my god. <laughs> grabbing it. And then dying. You know, this is a system. I'm hitting the right bumper instead of the left one. Get those out of my hands. They're better in the door. Perfect launch. Murray, what are you doing? No! Did we really just go to somewhere just to get some spirit light?
you have magic orbs? Your friends had magic orbs. Well, before I hit the spikes, can you hit me with a magic orb? Those things are strong. Thank you. Maybe she had her orb for a <laughs> Sammy. I can get blown up by it. Lovely. It could be. That looks like it's got to be something that I smash open, probably with an enemy skill. And if it's a way back, then I have to teleport through because there's no other pathway. So I'm blocked here. I have this path I haven't figured out how to take yet. I have the path I missed down here. And go back for that. And we have this rumor. On this pathway, I couldn't figure out a way through either. So we're two for two on blocked paths. Our third... I mean, there's a lot we haven't explored over here. A wisp sank somewhere in the lush wilderness of the Luma Pools. Luma Pools. I've only done 26% of the Wellspring Glades. We're currently in the windswept, windswept wastes. Oh, and the mountains. Okay. Interesting. You have a low spoiler hint for the dark, too? Okay. Um, I'm like, do I want to have you save it for next time? Because I'm going to go see if I have the tool to wake the bear. I don't mind where I'm blocked because there's a few things that I can do and there's a lot that I haven't explored so I can go around and see if I can find more abilities.
Lots of places to go and lots of trees to hit up for abilities, right? Whoa. Why did I get that? You've gained a new spirit shard. Sense near nearby secrets. Oh! Well... I should have read that instead of skipping over it thinking it was just generic uh, store... Um, you know, store opening chatter. I had a friend once too, you see. Before I had only my shining sh shards. Ah, uh, yes. I admire your strength. I will rem remember your name, Ori. What do you have for sale? You'll sell me an extra energy and extra vitality for 200. Those are tempting. Uh, triple jump for 2,200, and I have enough to get a second mid-air jump. Might not help me in the areas I'm, I've been just now, but it would definitely help me overall. Says not discovered, but he has like half of them. So I like this one, but I'm also about to spend 2200. So I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, we're going to buy triple jump. Bye, Spirit Light. Oh, it helps if we equip it. Okay, that feels like one we're going to only equip when we really need it. How bad did I do, Monte? I saw what Shriek did to your friend. Ori, I'm truly sorry. I think Ku reminded her of something. Something she hates. She was a little too once. Vulnerable. She doesn't want to remember that, Ori. But there's something she didn't see. Ku is strong. I know. I was watching. Care to see my records of you? We have increased our deaths to 202. We've completed 28% of the game. We've taken a lot of damage and have a lot of boo-boos. Uh, deaths by hazard, 168. 31 times by enemy. And three times we, we didn't make it out of the water in time. Uh, we spent 256 energy and regenerated 6,574 health. Which means we're taking about three times as much damage. No, two times. A little over two times as much damage as we're healing. We swam only a short distance, but we have traveled a very, very long distance on land. Uh, we've grappled a lot, bashed a lot, dashed even more, and wall jumped a thousand extra times. We're very springy. Wow, we have already burrowed farther than we have swum. So that's a thing. Wait. We have played the game for 10 hours, 21 minutes, and 48 seconds, of which time we have been airborne for 3 hours, 20 minutes, and 23 seconds. We have been airborne almost a third of the time that we've been playing this game. That is a lot of bouncing.
There we go. Mess up those stats a little bit. Way to the bear. I'm short on energy, but that's maybe okay. Oh. We're entering the domain of the great bar. He sleeps ahead, weary from the long winter of the decay. But the memory of the forest remembers the spring. Maybe we can remind the bar too. If we can wake him. I found a stick. Maybe I need to talk to the monkey. I've been standing here a long time, but the bear does not wake. Maybe I will try tickling him again if I can find something bigger than a tuft of grass. I found a stick. The stick doesn't work on the bear, huh? It's, it's right here. It's a petrified branch. Surely it will tickle a bear. Perhaps not. How do you bring up the game stats? Uh, I've been bringing him up by talking to Mote. Back in the village. The lizard guy over here. Past Twilin. Up here, and there's Mote. Oh, he didn't even jump out that time. Uh, I think I broke it. I actually do think I broke it. <laughs> what a perfect time to break things. Um, but yeah, normally, this little friendo would be the one bringing up the uh, details. Let's see here.
Wait, Longy has a PNG tuber? Oh, I can't go there. I was going to go see uh, Longy, formerly Bizarro Longy. But, uh, unfortunately, um, <laughs> they're currently doing end game of, um, Outer Wilds. <laughs> and although I've done it, I know that there are some folks in chat playing that right now that have not. Hey, let's go see somebody. This person, uh, raided over to... Sammy during our recent Hollow Knight little, little rando game that we were doing. Um, their name is Turd Boy. Don't let that fool you. They seem to be enjoyable. They're doing uh, some Pantheon stuff right now. And look, they've got a little sleepy Kirby profile pic. So that can't be wrong. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out. Avi, thank you for being here. And thank you for the donation as well. Much, much appreciated. Um, we're going to get out of here, but uh, we're just a few followers away from our next kitchen stream. Um, life's going to be crazy for the next few weeks, but we will see what happens. I'll keep everybody posted as I find out myself. Um, we will be back tomorrow night. I think probably more Ori. Um, I've been your editing buddy. Oh my gosh. I need to do editing. I made myself have editing work here on the stream as well. Well, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow and then we'll be gone for like a whole week. So I hope to see everybody back. Uh, we will see you again on your channels for the many, many, many of you that do stream. Uh, we'll see you everywhere that we hang out together and hopefully back here again soon. And until then, bye.